this video is going to be on finding the area and circumference of circles. And what I want you to remember is when we're starting formula math, is it's one of the easiest things that you can do in math. Okay? All you have to do is figure out which formula you're using, sort of like your recipe. Okay? Once you find the formula, you simply write the formula, then you plug in the numbers into the formula. And the formula tells you what to do. It tells you whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So write the formula, fill in the formula, and then calculate it. I'm even giving you a calculator to do the arithmetic. So this isn't going to be that hard as long as you pick the correct formula and you plug it in correctly. You're going to be fine. Okay? So the next part of the video, I'm going to um, give you some notes. And I'm going to work some sample problems and then give you some, a couple of sample problems to bring into class tomorrow. All right? But first, I've got to do one of my shout outs. Goes to Ben Hodges. Ben Hodges is the first shout out. Got to watch the rest of the video to figure out who the others are, though. Okay, here's the study guide and the note sheet that I gave you today in class. Um, let's go ahead and fill out the notes for formula math. Um, like I told you at the beginning of the video, formula, formula math is really very simple. All we're doing is taking our recipe, which is the formula, putting in the ingredients, and then cooking it. So here's our steps. First, we're going to determine the correct formula to use, and we get that from our math chart. Okay? Step number two, I want you to write the formula down. Do you have to write the formula down? Yes, you do. Okay? Step number three, I want you to plug in the formula. Plug in the formula with the values um, that are given to you in the problem. And the last step is going to be to calculate. Okay? Just do what the formula tells you to do. If the formula says multiply, you multiply. If it says divide, then you divide. Okay, the start section down here is uh, what I was talking about at the beginning. Remember, the formula is your recipe. Make sure you plug in the right ingredients. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to go over to the other side of your notebook and give yourself uh, your same two column notes. And I'm going to take problems from the so Lauren study guide. Jones. Lauren, congratulations. See you tomorrow. All right, number one on the study guide to ask you to find the circumference and the area for this circle. It's a circle with a radius of one centimeter. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the circumference. So I'm going to write down the formula for circumference. It's circumference equals 2 pi r. Now you can look that up on your formula chart. Okay? Now, the reason that I chose to use 2 pi r is because the circle has given, given me the radius. So I'm going to use the formula that has radius in its ingredients. Okay? The next step is to plug in the formula. So 2 stays a 2. Pi, I'm going to plug in 3.14 for pi. And our radius is 1. The last step is to calculate. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 3.14, which is 6.28. And 6.28 times 1 is just 6.28. OK? And then circumference is a distance, so it's just going to be centimeters. All right? Next, I need to find the area. So I'm going to write the formula for area, which is pi r squared. That's the second step. Write the formula. Third step, plug it in. Pi is 3.14 times my radius is 1 squared. So that's 1 times 1 is 1. 
and times 3.14 is just 3.14. And that's going to be centimeters squared. Okay? All right, skip to number two. Well, not actually, I'm going to skip to number four. All right, number four says the diameter equals 9.3. All right, first thing I'm going to do is find the circumference. All right, the formula for circumference is pi, this time I'm going to use this formula, pi d because the ingredient that I have is the diameter. So I'm going to use the one that calls for the diameter. So I've written my formula. Now I'm going to plug it in. 3.14 times 9.3. All right? For this, for formula math, it's okay with me if you use a calculator as long as you write the formula and plug in the values. So I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator. 3.14 times 9.3, it equals 29.202, and my directions say to round to the nearest tenth, so that's 29.2, circumference is just a distance, so that's meters. All right, now the area, write the formula pi r squared. Plug it in. 3.14. Now, the recipe calls for the radius. I don't have the radius. I have the diameter. I cannot put diameter into this recipe. That's like a recipe calling for two cups of sugar and you put in two cups of salt. It's not going to taste good. It's going to be wrong. Okay? So I've got to figure out what the radius is. The radius is half of the diameter. So if I take my diameter and cut it in half, divide it by 2, I get 4.65. 4.65. So that's my radius. That's what I plug in to the formula. Okay? So now I'm going to square 4.65. I'm going to multiply it times itself, and I get this. Now I'm going to multiply that times pi. There's my answer, 67.89465. The directions say round to the nearest tenth, which is this spot right here, 67.9. meters, and because it's area, my units will be squared. All right? So there's two examples. I want you all to do on the other side, on the student side, for homework tonight, I want you to do number two. Find the circumference and the area for number two. And go ahead and do number five. Find the circumference and the area for number five. All right? I think that's it. I will see you tomorrow. Um, have these done and we'll go over them tomorrow. Bye. Zachary Patterson. So Lauren, Zach, and Ben, you guys got to tell me tomorrow that you're the shout out and you'll get your prize. Okay? See everybody tomorrow.